The Fabrica is perhaps the most influential medical book of all time. The author, Andreas Vesalius, was only 28 years old when it was first published in 1543. The Special Collections section at the University of Victoria in British Columbia contains a precious 1555 second edition, and we had the privilege to discuss this historic book with Elaine Kaz, Director of Medieval Studies and a professor of French at the university. In the 16th century, the Fabrica was groundbreaking because it advanced anatomy, and today it remains fascinating because of Vesalius himself. This man has a, a public persona, which is not pleasant, but which is dramatic. And so you don't read only about anatomy, you read about this anatomist who made modern anatomy. And that's as of 1543. And while Vesalius got plenty right, he also got some facts wrong. We have made many advances in anatomy and medicine since the 1500s. So uh, you wouldn't want to have surgery performed on you by somebody who is a Vesalian for anatomy. So the, what is interesting in the book is not the information on the human body. That's the information on the history of knowing the human body. Vesalius insisted on performing his own dissections in a time when that task was left to people of lesser status while the physician looked on. He went to great lengths, including body snatching, to fine-tune his knowledge and skills. He insisted that the information presented in his book resulted from actual experience rather than previous texts. In many ways, it's groundbreaking because after him, if you repeat something that you haven't experimented in science, or if you do an experiment that you cannot reproduce, you don't pass the test. That's not science, that's just rambling and repeating books. Even before the book was published, people were interested in his work. In 1543, before the publication, it was pirated. So nobody had read the book, but everybody was fascinated. The illustrations were presented with such style that even today, anatomists use his illustrations or the same poses dubbed Vesalian positions. Vesalius says in the preface, we didn't want to show corpses. We wanted to show life. In today's world of advanced science and modern medicine, why is this book still held in high regard? The Fabrica, this book, is the symbol of groundbreaking modernity. And we want to have roots for that. So it's a, it's a paradox, because we want new science, but we are looking for old books for this new science. And that's the role of the Fabrica. Often described as the founder of modern human anatomy, Vesalius died in 1564 at age 49, but the influence of his famous book lives on. You can fall in love with the Fabrica. It's, I don't say that I would have liked to meet Andreas Vesalius, but I find that this book is a piece of freedom. It, I mean, it's pure freedom and smartness and art.